Okay, so people, it doesn't look that exciting right now because this is our semester model that we are going to be turning into a set of semi-construction drawings. Right now, all our walls are going to be generic walls. If you're wondering what this looks like in 3D, you know, I can open up a 3D view and you see that this is a box, a couple of boxes right now. And that's what we need to do. We need to keep this simple because this isn't a design project. This is a detailing construction type project. You've done design already, right? So if you look here, we have some items. If you look here, you can see that you have a stairwell that's built, partially built. It's properly built. One of our jobs is going to be to construct the other one and continue the stairs through the top of our building. We also have allotted mechanical space, chase space for utilities. We have half of a bathroom here that we're going to mirror on the other side. And if you were to go to the first floor, you notice that on the first floor, second floor, and third floor, right, some of these spaces continue all the way up through the building for a reason, right? We're going to learn those reasons as we go along. So one of the main things that we're going to talk about here, though, when we go to the site plan, is that we have this building. Now, how big is this building? Here's the site plan. On the ground floor, you can see that between column line A and B, we have 30 feet, a dimension we're going to maintain. We have another dimension of 30 feet here. We're going to maintain it one of 15 that we're going to maintain and one that is 24 that might adjust some you'll see why later perhaps okay we're going to have a couple of different occupancies in this building as we've talked about we're going to have a b or business occupancy we we'll also will probably have a mercantile occupancy and we'll also perhaps perhaps have a um an educational aspect to it i'm sorry not educational uh, institutional aspect to it. We'll find out later if that's going to come to be the case. So anyway, um, here's our building. Like I said, the very first thing we're going to do is go to that site plan. And while on the site plan, we are going to start drawing something that we need. And that something is on the massing and site tab. And it's going to be these property lines. Now, these property lines are going to establish how big the lot that our building sits on. And that's important because that's going to help us determine how big our building can actually be. Okay? So I'm going to click on that. And I want to create by sketching. We're rarely, if ever, going to use the distances and bearing because we're not civil engineers, right? We can also reference or link in a CAD file that has a topography on it with property lines, and we can simply pick those lines. It's a real nice way to create your topo and or your uh, property lines. But right, we're going to create by sketching. And I'm going to pick a point, right? I'm going to do something. Off the corner of this building, I'm going to draw a line, right? And actually, you know what? I'm going to escape here. I'm going to use my friend first, the detail line and I'm going to draw with these hidden detail lines a line from here and I'm going to come over about let's see let's call it on this side 50 feet right and the more you scroll in people you can see you get a finer adjustment with distances so we need 50 feet and I'm also going to go down 50 feet before I begin, okay? Getting close, all right? Scroll in a little more, okay. Now, I'm going to go back to massing in sight and go to property lines, enter them by sketching. I'm gonna start at this point that is 50, 50 from the corner of that building, and I'm gonna draw a line that is 250 feet and while I'm doing that I didn't have to do all that fine adjusting I could have just typed in 250 space 0 okay in the north direction I'm going to draw this one at 200 feet then I'm going to pull back this way look at that it snaps right to my first one and then I'm going to finish and I'm going to hit finish edit mode. Now I can delete these other two lines, this 50 by 50, and you will see if I want to annotate this just to see, I have 
what 250 that direction and 200 feet this direction I'm going to stop this video allow you all to get caught up to me and then we're going to move on to the next point